everyone welcome to homestead corner today i'm going to show you a quick and easy simple solar setup so we are helping a family member get a small solar set up so they can run their freezer and refrigerator um, during an emergency, they'll have the setup. So we're just helping them put this together so they know which parts to use. And so I thought it would be a good opportunity to share with you guys, because it can be so confusing, which panel, which, how much do you need, all this different stuff. So they are going for just the refrigerator and freezer. They have all their other bases covered. So they only need a 1200 watt. Um, they're gonna use a 1200 watt to run those two items with two 100 watt panels because this system, only this OPE system, it, uh, it puts out 1200 watts, but it can take in 200 watts at a time. So we've got two panels here and I'm gonna connect those together and connect them to the generator so it's easy it can just it only takes a few seconds and you are up and running and you can see the solar um, you can see it charging and you know that it's working and it just takes a few seconds so the first thing you want to be sure of is the type of input when you buy a generator so you can make sure that you can attach the panels to it now these particular panels do not have this input. OPS does sell their own panels that plug right in with no questions asked. But you can buy a connector for any panels pretty much and get them to connect to this input. So that is what we have done here. This just goes to an eight millimeter so it will fit right in here. And this hooks to your solar panels. Okay, so you're just going to take a negative and a positive and you're going to hook those together. And this is just going to make a loop. And then you've got one more of each. And that is where we're going to hook our connector. We're going to grab this connector and I'm going to hook in the negative to positive. and the negative to positive. So we're gonna bring our connector over and just put it right in and that's it. And then you can see this little fan down here is spinning and it's gonna show us how much it is pulling in. So we got 21 watts, it's kind of cloudy, 28, and it will jump around. It does not stay exactly at one spot as the sun comes out it'll go up to 200 watts um, usually with two 100 watt panels on a really sunny day you're probably going to pull about 160 180 in that range on a cloudy day you can see you're not going to pull as much. All right, so we are getting a little bit more sun now, and you can see it's coming up to about 130, 125. So as the sun hits those panels, it really jumps around and sucks in that energy, which is great. And now I'm just going to plug in a phone. See this? You can see this charge. So we're just going to turn on our little outlets over here and you can just plug that right in and that is charging which is great we are going to try a little drill plug that right in if you want to make sure your AC is on Okay, so this is working great. It's got 99 hours left on it, and um, it's pulling in 121 watts right now, which is awesome. We're getting a little drops of rain, 
So we are going to pack this up for today. I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to do a setup. We just use L brackets right on the side of the panels to hook them to the wall. And I have an extra cable here. So it gives us more footage to come into the house that it's going into. So that is it for today. I just wanted to share a quick and simple setup with you. It is so easy to use and it's really quite affordable. I'll put links to everything in the description down below if you're looking for this and um, or any pieces to this. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.